Hello, my name is Veronica, and welcome to the Learning Lab, episode 26, Love Struck. In today's lab, we're going to take a look at Provo Craft's Cricut Cartridge Love Struck. Come on in and let's get started. This particular example is cut number one. I cut this at four inches, and I just used some not quite paperweight stock but it's not the heavy cardstock for the backing i did use a heavier cardstock and this is from american crafts i just did it on multi-cut uh, speed of three blade of three and pressure of medium and it turned out very nice i also cut it in a larger size just to see what it would look like and then you can see that one here it's a very pretty cut not too intricate and should be pretty easy to achieve. This is cut number two, also cut at four inches, and here is the black backing. You may not be able to tell on camera, but it has little ridges going around the edge. It gives it a very nice finish that will match this one. It was fairly easy to cut and easy to remove from the mat. This is cut number three. This one is cut on a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and I selected the fit to page function, and I think it turned out very well. This one is image 4. Love that little stripey look to the heart, and the heart that's the shadow for it is just a very simple cutting. This one, again, cut out fairly well and easy to remove from the mat, also cut at 4 inches. Cut number 5 was a bit tricky. I did get the shadow to cut out. When it came time to cut out this, it cut the image, but when I went to take it off of the mat, I noticed on this side right here, uh, right in here as you can see, it's very thin and it actually broke apart when it was cutting. That's a very thin cut on that, so if you're going to use this one, I'd be really careful. But then when I went to put it on its shadow, I just could not get it to line up on that side the way it should. And I thought, well, maybe four inches is not the ideal size for this one. Try a larger size, and I did. I also cut one at five inches and came out with the same result. It's a very beautiful cut, but just be aware that if you're going to use these doves or lovebirds, that this cut might have to be repaired by you. This is image number six, but uh, this is the shadow and this is the cut. Easy to cut and again very easy to remove. Image number seven was interesting. The hardest part I think was trying to decide what left and what was supposed to remain when you're trying to remove all the letters and all the little bitty pieces that are in there but it, it worked out really well for me a shadow is just a normal size heart that's image and cut number seven uh, this one is image cut number eight another intricate design I love the way it turned out I really like the silhouette of this probably more so than anything else and that's the silhouette I like the way this cut turned out the only thing I would caution you about are the little appendages or arms that hang out on my little sea creature. <laughs> Be careful with those because uh, they bend so easily because they are very fragile where they connect. I also did this one with a black silhouette that is cut in image number eight. I'm not quite sure what happened to me with cut number nine because for some reason I cut this out a number of times. This one is cut at four and the shadow is also cut at four and layered together. It's a very nice cut, not too intricate. If you wanted to use a heavier card, I would just have to caution you of the little pieces that you're going to need to poke out and I'll address that in just a moment. I also cut that one out at five inches. Very nice and there's the shadow that one and just because I still wasn't sure whether or not I cut image number nine I cut it again but this time I did the red as a top layer and my white as the shadow and I think that turned out really darling 
cut in image number nine. And I think another one of my favorites is number 10. It's just so, I don't know, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farmish kind of looking, just really serene, really peaceful, very country, very farm-like touch to it. I really do like number 10. That is the cut and that is the shadow, which is also a really pretty heart. Most of the heart shadows would make great solid cuts for a banner. Number 10, image and cut. Now when I looked at this one, number 11, my first thought was, uh -oh. surprisingly, these pieces in between just pretty much pop themselves right out and I love the flirty. So then I thought, okay, what would it look like if it had a red background? Flirty. Love that one. This is image and cut number 11. Now the final image that I cut from the Love Struck cartridge is this little Cupid cherub. He was interesting to remove from his backing because once again, it was trying to figure out which parts stayed and which parts needed to be removed. On the cover from the cart, they do show this in a tone on tone. And I think if you're going to cut him, a tone on tone would be best. I just don't think the same effect was achieved by using black and white or by using black and red. I did have a mishap right here when I went to cut him. It I don't know it fell apart and it was right in here and I did have to glue that part back together he was cut at five inches also now I would like to share with you a couple of things that were helpful with me in getting some of those intricate pieces out of my images and one was this push pad the other helpful thing was my making memories toolkit I used this little poker tool that came out of it for example, on this love, I just put it down on this push pad and went right through. And of course, my wonderful spatula was really helpful in pulling these. Again, try to go for one of those edges that doesn't have a lot on it and you'll be able to lift it off. A well-used mat is going to be your best friend on this because then your paper is going to release very easily. And speaking of paper, let me share with you some of the papers that I used in my project came from Cardstock Online. I picked this up that Tuesday morning and this pack of 25 sheets was $2.99. Not a bad deal at all. And I want to say I picked this up at Joann's when they were like five cents a sheet. And then this Fiskars paper was $1.99 again from Tuesday morning. The lilac that you saw behind one of the birds also came from Tuesday morning. This is American Crafts lilac and the darker one from the same place. And this is the American Crafts Grape. So here are some of the designs from that Provo Cricut Love Struck cartridge. They're in no particular order, but just to give you an overview of a few of them. Again, thank you for joining me in the lab. Hope this was very helpful to you in choosing which image you'd like to cut for your special Valentine. So I'd like to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Please remember to check out my blog at Ink Illusions dot blogspot dot com. Until then.